so tired. I'm trying to get better at eating breakfast in the morning. So I got a bowl of fruit. These blueberries are kind of sour and that's not making my morning very pleasant. It's 9.30, I got up at 8, well I got up at 8.30, I was supposed to get up at 8 because we're going to Cali today. So it was up until like 3 a.m. packing because I do everything last minute. Ugh. Even though I was still packing until 3, I still didn't finish. I also need to go to Target because I need to get some hair stuff. Hopefully they have like a like a long leash that I can get Coda and I need to get some rain boots. I didn't even say why I'm going to California. My mom's friend, she is leaving for vacation or something and she needs someone to pet sit for her. She has like two dogs, goats and chickens and stuff. Originally, me and Coda were going to stay at like an Airbnb nearby, but they like bought an old church and renovated it. She knows Coda's not the biggest fan of other dogs. That's why we didn't want to all originally stay there together. But oh, this is why you don't do things in bed. Also, ignore my nails. They're like chipping and they fell off. They essentially have like two apartments. Upstairs is where they stay and where their dogs and everything are. Me and Coda, I'm gonna stay downstairs. It's like a whole separate apartment. That way there's like enough space and everything that they won't even have to interact at all. She's in Northern California, it's on the coast. So they have like a beach access and stuff. So I wanna get a long beach for Coda so that she can kind of run around the beach a little bit. I'd love to let her run off leash, but I know that girl would never come back. She would see a squirrel and it would be done. Hopefully giving her a long leash will give her a little bit of freedom. We were originally gonna leave a little bit earlier, like now, and start driving because it's gonna be a nine, 10 hour drive, but Coda's food gets delivered and now it's gonna be delivered today, but we don't know what time and obviously we have to be here for it. Otherwise it would just be sitting in front of our door for two weeks and that's, that's gross. I feel like there was more to this story that I was gonna say, but I've completely forgotten it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, basically we were gonna leave earlier. But now we gotta wait for her food to come. So we can get it and roll out. She's sleeping, but her head is on the window facing me. <laughs> Why is it so busy? It's like Wednesday, my dudes. Oh, the lighting's off. That's okay. Hi, I'm back and much more awake. That's kind of a lie, but you know what? Fake it till you make it. I just left Target, and I think this might be the first time I've successfully gone into Target, got everything I needed and nothing I didn't need. I got two rain boots. I got these ones and I got just like long black ones, which I can't really take out of the bag, but you can picture it. They're just long black rain boots. They were literally the only two rain boots that they had. So I got those. I got myself a rain jacket and my mom's going to be proud because it's not black. I 100% would have gotten black if they had it in black, but I like this color. It's muted. I like muted colors and it's really long too, which I actually really like. I've been into long coats. I keep seeing people wearing hoodies and like trench coats over top. I think I want to kind of do something like that with this jacket. And then I just got some hair stuff. I got some gel, some curl cream, and I got a uh, Coda's leash. I thought they would have, and I hope that they had one of the big like long rope ones that are like 20, 30 feet long just so she can really have space to run around. But they didn't, that was the only thing they had and I'm not making the second trip to go to PetSmart just to get another leash. Um, that one's 16 feet. I, I think that's that's pretty 
that's decent that's good enough yeah the house we're going to i think i already said it has like a private beach and coda loves the water and stuff like that so that'll give her a chance to run around a little bit and i don't have to be right next to her and she lives near the redwoods Koda likes exploring. She doesn't know how to explore without coming back just yet. We're still waiting for her food to be delivered. It's already one o'clock. Don't want to be driving all night, especially with Koda. She doesn't like the car. Plan is to try and wear her out a little bit and then give her two of her anxiety medication so she'll calm down. It seemed to help when we were moving, but we also weren't driving 10 hours. We'll see how that goes packed most of my clothes last night but I didn't pack any of my like toilet trees hair stuff I hate packing so much I always overpack and then I get stressed because I overpack but then somehow I still manage to forget things even though I've packed pretty much my entire room I don't know how that happens but it does every time and we also need to pack Coda stuff and make sure that we have enough space for her in the back seat oh man hopefully she'll just sleep this ride because it's gonna be a long drive if not <laughs> <laughs> Why are you singing like that? <laughs> Hello? Good morning. It's too early for this. It's too early for this. It's almost 6 a.m. Taking Koda out. Sorry, it's dark. Bear with me. I had to get away from windows so I didn't wake other people up because no one else should have to be subjected to being up this early. Even the sun's not up yet. They have more standards than I do. Yesterday I got home and was gonna start filming again, but then Coda threw up. Um, I think she started getting really anxious because she could see me and mom packing a suitcase and I think she got scared because she was just kind of anxious and wandering around all day confused. Yeah, kind of just stopped filming so I could take care of my dog. It's hard because now we're about to leave and she doesn't like the car. And now with her having thrown up, we're trying to give her a more bland diet today. After they throw up and are sick, you're supposed to wait like 24 hours after to give them foods. But we want to be able to give her her trazodone, but it says it's best taken with food. You can give it on an empty stomach, but it's best taken with food. Um, but we don't really want to give her any food. Just want to make sure her stomach's settled. Like I don't want to be over anxious in the car and then throw up because she's anxious or give her food to give her her pill to calm down, but then throw up because she ate food. <laughs> So I think I'm just gonna try and give her like the bare minimum of some rice. Hopefully she'll eat it. We were gonna give her two pills. When she's highly anxious like that, she will usually give her two. That's what the vet told us. But we're kind of nervous giving her that many. Now I'm just waiting for her to poop. <laughs> so I can go back in, pack her. Why is it so loud all of a sudden? There's so much going on at 5.30 in the morning. Go inside, pack the rest of her things. We'll see what she does with the rice. I'm packed though, and I just gotta change and pack Coda's baby bag. All right, I'm gonna go because it's really dark and you can't see me <laughs> anyway. I swear to God, no. 